Coming up next, it's a UFC light heavyweight division collision. So here is a Brazilian who has really taken this light heavyweight division by storm. Johnny Walker back for more here tonight. And the moment he got to the UFC, Johnny Walker made a beeline towards the top 15 in the world from finishing Khalil Roundtree with a beautiful elbow to the flying knee and the punches that he landed to finish against Misha Serkinov. You cannot start any better than Johnny Walker has started up to this point. He had three first-round finishes, all of them sub two minutes. He oh. believes he's ready for this division's elite, and I think tonight's result, tonight's performance, could give us some answers as to just how high the ceiling is for Johnny Walker Blue. So here he is, one of the better offensive takedown guys we have in the UFC DC. And if anyone is well equipped to speak to this, it is you. The opponent knows what's coming. At least to this point in the UFC, no one's been able to stop. He just has to keep him away. Because the moment this guy gets close enough to either grab a leg or make body contact, right. now you're in trouble. He has a knowledge and an understanding of position from a lifetime of just all grappling, judo, wrestling, uh, Ensemble. He does it all, and he has just so many ways to get you to the floor. This guy once told me that if he can get your leg, he's going to finish. Right. Because he's going to give you so many things to think about, you will not be able to process and keep up with him, and eventually you're on the mat. It's unbelievable to watch him apply that knowledge to the mixed martial arts fight. And as the wrestlers say, this is not a guy you want anywhere near your bracket. No, you don't want him in the bracket. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC light heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 20 wins, seven losses. He stands six feet six inches tall, weighing in at 205 pounds. Fighting out of Phuket, Thailand, Johnny Walker! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, a kickboxer holding a professional record of 18 wins, 7 losses. He's at 6 feet 1 inch tall, weighing in at 205 pounds, fighting out of Freiburg, Switzerland, Vulcan No Time Ustamir. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Eve Loving. The veteran Eve Levine draws the assignment here. So lofty expectations for this matchup as round one gets underway. Seems to be a striking advantage on one side, but on the other, truly a fighter who can do it all. And that guy will usually have the advantage on paper. When you're a striker at this guy's level, that will normally balance out whatever advantage the other guy has. Oh, really using his reach advantage there with that land, DC. Big, powerful punch lands. Now he gets back to range. And he landed the right hand there. He loaded up with that right hand, too. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the jump. They're certainly getting after it early. Unable to land with that punch. Oh, he missed with that right hand. Throws the right hand there. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Oh! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Oh, he might be out. Just out of range with the big right hand. That one landed clean. Oh, there's the swing and there's the miss by Ustamir.
Three minutes now to go in this one. So just over 20 total strikes have landed for Volkan Uzdemir. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Now he gets a more dominant position with the underhook. He is gonna start to drive knees over and over. You gotta be careful here, you gotta move. Oh, Johnny Walker with another early land. This is a guy who fights like he is double parked outside, one of the bigger power threats in this light heavyweight division. And prevailing wisdom is that eventually Walker is gonna find himself into a UFC championship scenario. That's a nice strike. Beautiful leg kick thrown. Just over two minutes to go in round one. Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. Nice job landing the double jab there, DC. I mean, you are definitely pressing that, but you... Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Well, he's got the reach advantage. You might as well use it. Nice job there to find a home for that jet. Oh, a nice hook there by Ustamir. 90 seconds now to go in the round. That one snuck in. Nice strike. Plus right hand is true. Oh, he did a great job of rotating him into an underhook. All right, some really grueling work here in the clinch. Both fighters really struggling to gain a dominant position. That happens whenever you understand the position. Both know exactly what they need to do. And when both fighters are trying to do the same thing, it's very, very difficult to get the desired result. Oh, spinning back fist. Didn't see that one coming. Nice right punch followed by a left. 45 seconds to go here in round one. Oh, he's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Oh, he might be out. Oh, straight right. Oh. Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Oh, big left. And they separate. 15 seconds to go. Oh, big shot land. Try to establish that jab. Oh, nice. All right, there's the end of the round, so it was a huge strike to the head that stunned his opponent and, and nearly got him out of there. Yeah, that was a big moment. A big strike lands, his opponent's on wobbly legs. That is exactly what, what you want to see as you're walking back to your stool. Your opponent staggering back to his corner and being hopeful that he can get it back together before the start of the next round. So just like that, we have arrived at the start of round two. Vulcan Ustamir. And Johnny Wall. Ooh, what a punch. Oh, he lands a hook there, DC. That was one of his more significant lands of the fight. He can land that strike over and over. He's hurt. He's hurt. Oh, how about that? He lands a huge kick. That right hand hurt him a little bit. You take more of these leg kicks, you will not be able to be very active on your feet. Big punch land. Ooh. Oh, that right hand is on point. Wow, that... Whoa! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Trying to stay in this fight. And they separate. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Left hand punch in the clinch. 
He missed with that jab attempt. Hey, oh, oh, that's a good strike there by Uzdemir. 68 total strikes have already landed for Johnny Walker. Well, the accuracy rate not great, below 40%. Now 38% on the connections against Volkan Uzdemir. Beautiful kick. Tried to set up the straight left, but he missed. That one appeared to stun him. Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Well, a really good second round for him thus far. After a somewhat lackluster first round, he has found the rhythm and found his striking range. Scary proposition for the opponent now here in round two. Big head kick land. We have crossed the midpoint of this one. Nice punch there. Oh, wicked nice leg kick there, DC. Can't take too many of those. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Well, no problem getting inside to land that straight punch. He's got a huge edge in reach, and he made good use of it there. Oh! Knocked out by the spinning back fist! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh! Back to the feet! Oh, big left hook there! All right, he engages in a single color tie here. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. I mean, he's cutting them down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. Nice punch there by Uzdemir. Clipped him with the right hand there. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Tries the flying knee to no avail. Under a minute to go. And both guys really throwing with authority. Lands flush with that right hand. Sneaky head kick. Nice punch, Lance. Wow! He's out! He's done, he's done! <laughs> Pinpoint strike. To end this fight, it landed flush. I'm not even sure the opponent only saw it coming. And before he could recover, the referee was in to stop the fight. So a huge knockout victory for that fighter here tonight. All right, DC, no Telestrator tonight, but we're going to get you some highlights from this one. This was a fight that had it all, and for my money, his best performance to date. His best performance to date in the biggest moment. In the biggest moment, you got to show up. And that's exactly what he did tonight. He used every bit of his skill to get the job done. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine has called a stop to this contest. At four minutes, 15 seconds of round number two, declaring the winner by knockout, Johnny Walker! And there is the man of the moment, and what a moment this must be like for a professional athlete, right? I know you enjoyed the birth of your kids, right? But yeah. you knock out a man in a cage fight, I can't think of anything better. I mean, there's nothing like it. You know, you don't even hear the one that lands that puts out your opponent's lights. And tonight, he got that.